Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about this light right here, the Chihiros RGB Vivid 2. And I'm excited to get this opened and show you guys everything that's inside and how to set it up properly. And we're going to be testing it out on this tank and then I'll be putting it on this tank right here. You can see there's one already hooked up looking really nice and I can't wait to just get the other one on there and get this thing running because the lights have just been sitting in their boxes here for the last couple of days and I've been just staring at them thinking when I can get it set up and today's that day. So if you watch the other video where I set this light up on the 120 cm tank you'd know that Chihiros sent this light to me as well as the shade for free and I really love it and today I just want to go more into detail about this light and show you guys how to set it up because it's really really easy. Alright so you've got the lighting unit right here the RGB Vivid 2 as well as the shade for the WRGB and the RGB Vivid 2 so this can work on either light but unfortunately they don't come together. The good thing is though that it's not that expensive for the shade compared to other brands. I think this is a really good choice if you want to get an RGB light. So let's go and open this up. Dun, dun, dun. All right, foam right here to protect the light. That's what's left in the box. This is the wire unit to hang the light. And this is a plug. And this right here inside is the ballast. You should place the lighting unit on a piece of foam like this right here because on the other side you've got this screw right here and that's to connect the wires. So if you take a look at this one right here you can see how this thing has been screwed in so that the wires can go through. So yeah, um, I don't want it damaging the table or anything so that's why there's this foam for it to rest on. So that is this right here, the RGB Vivid 2. And then now we've got the shade so let's go and take this out. Unboxing the shades. You can see it says two plates inside. So let's go and open this. Oh, we need the cutter. Almost cut myself there. But yeah, so this is what you get. Nicely packaged. So here you go, you've got two shades matching the color of the lighting unit. So I got the black color. And you can see one of them has the Chihiros logo on it. Chihiros Aquatic Studios. And the other one is for the back side. Doesn't have any logo. Before we move on, I just want to say that the Chihiros packaging is really nice. And I actually think it's pretty beautiful. It's really colorful and stands out. Yeah, I like it. So I've put the shades to the side right here. And the first thing we want to do is take this light and take the packaging off. They've built in a fan right here, which I think is pretty cool. At first, when I first heard of this fan in a light, I thought it was kind of like a disadvantage because it kind of takes away from the look of the light. It might make a sound and it might break down in the future. But now I actually think it's kind of cool because no one else is doing anything like this. No one else that I know of are putting fans in the lighting units. So I think it's kind of cool to be innovative a little bit. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Maybe there are other light brands doing this, but I haven't heard of any just yet. So we're going to take this, get your wires. So here you go. You've got two wires, really, really long, more than you really need. You've got these two pieces right here, so what you're going to do is get this and screw it in. You grab your cables, push them through. Just like that, and you'll see. It comes out from the bottom. And if you see, when you try to pull this, it doesn't come out. So that's a really good thing. You don't have to worry about it falling. If you push this thing right here, if you push it in, then your string will be able to come out. Next up, you've got this piece right here and you're gonna thread these wires through. And it might take some time to get used to this, but once you get it, it's really easy. And 
Yeah, you just make a loop. And now all you have to do is just adjust the length of the cables. All right, and now that both of them are done, look at that, really nice. We can get this up on the light stand. Really, really happy with this. So yeah, Specialized Aquatic Solutions provided these light stands and I am loving it. These are called the Profile Light Stands is what they call it. And you can also use these to make an aquarium cabinet, but this time I just wanted it to be a light stand and you can see it does the job really well. Now I'm going to get this wire all neatened up. You can see with this one, I've already kind of got it set up. Not 100% done yet. And another thing I love about the stand are these grooves. You can hide the wires inside, which is amazing. And right now I'm just using tape right here, which I'm going to find a better solution to um, in, instead of this tape because the tape, you got to agree, isn't really that nice. But for now, it does the job. Now let's get this one set up and I'll show you inside the cabinet. But wait, I forgot. We got to do this, this cable right here. It's too long, so we got to neaten it up. And this is what I did right here. And just use cable ties to tie it neatly. So I'm going to do that. I chose green because green, as some of you may know, is my favorite color. And over here, this one is actually white, so I gotta change this. And you can see the cable ties are much bigger. Kind of not as good looking as those, so I'm gonna change those to match the green ones. Take a look at that from a distance. Not 100% done yet, we still gotta get the wires hooked up. But let's go and take a look in the cabinet now. Alright, so this right here is the cabinet. Oh, you can see this is the other set of shades I have for this light, but I haven't put that on yet. So right here, I've got a drawer and this I kind of copied from Hidekazu Tsukiji-san and I'll put his video in the description below. I don't know if it's out yet or may maybe it's out. I'm not sure, but yeah, so let me move this for you guys. All right, so that's better. Now you guys can have a clearer look of what's inside. And sorry if the focus goes a bit off. It's kind of dark in here and I would like to attach some lights in here in the future. But so here's my extension cord that I hooked up the other day. And you can see this is the plug for the lights. It doesn't need a timer because everything is controlled in the app on a phone. I forgot to mention that earlier. You need a smartphone to be able to use this light and I think many of us do so should be no problems there but you download an app called the My Chihiros app or something like that and it's completely free so I've done that already and this is hooked up so it doesn't need a timer. I've got a timer here but this will be for the CO2 in the future but yeah here's the ballast and I've attached it on the cabinet wall just by using some tape. This thing right here, in Japanese we call it magic tape, but this thing is really strong and yeah, it, it will stick anything. It could also stick this extension cord, but I decided to go with screws just to be more safe. But yeah, this thing holds stuff really well. Before I completely set this light up on this 120 cm tank, I want to test it out on the 60 centimeter planted aquascape tank. And I've cleaned this tank today, so right now it's looking really clean and really nice. And I want to compare that Chihiro's RGB light with this ADA Aquasky G602. And yeah, I want to see the color difference.
So there is the Chihiros light. I must say, I really love it. The colors are just so rich and vibrant. And yeah, right now it's just sitting on the, the stand of my AquaSky um, 602G, which is right there. But I gotta say, I like this way more than this. The colors are just incredible. Look at, look at that. My Pinotafita is already red, but you can see how much redder they look with this light. It's really nice. And the greens of the Anubias Nana Petite as well as the moss. Man, this is amazing. Let's check out the Chihiros app. Alright, so let's open up the Chihiros app. Now you can see that there's one RGB Vivid 2 that's offline on the left, and on the right there's one that's online. So let's go to the one online. So you can see right now everything's on 100% and you can adjust that, so that's a good thing. So say you want to adjust the reds. Look at that. Now you want to adjust the blues, or the green, sorry. And now you're just left with the blue, so... Yeah, if you turn that down, it goes off. So now let's start with the red. That is really, really red. Now the greens, look at that. Now let's turn the red off. Look at that green, wow. Alright, put the red and green back on. And let's put the blue. So yeah, it looks really nice. And I am really happy with this light. I probably won't do it 100% when I put this on my 120cm tank. I'll probably keep it at 80 or 90% just to be safe, just so that there's not too much algae. And then I'm not sure what these bottom ones do, but... Oh, it, it measures the power usage. Alright. Yeah, but... I don't think I'll be playing around with that too much. I'll probably just have it on the auto settings or something like that. And then there's presets down below. You can see there's red. So if you want red, this is what it looks like. Pretty nice, pretty red. And then there's fish. So if you want the fish to stand out, they've got a preset for that. Then there's green. Green is nice, I really like green. It's like a, a good balance of all the colors. And then there's shrimp as well. The only shrimp I've got in this tank are the Amano shrimp. And then you've got Boost. Yeah, the Boost. Boost is probably one of my favorite. It's not too strong, not too dim. Just nice. And then there's All. So yeah, that's, that's that. And then there's this one. The Auto section where you can adjust to your own liking. And you can set the time. So you can set what time you want the lights to turn on and what time you want it to turn off. So you go to quick set, uh, set your sunrise, so let's do that. So sunrise, how do you, okay, so you got to set your sunrise. I want it to rise at 12. Okay, next. Set the time of daylight. I like seven hours. That's good enough. And next, set ramp up time. So this is really cool. Not many lights have this feature. Um, half an hour is good. So the ramp up time is like a sunrise time. So for 30 minutes, half an hour, you can have the lights turn on slowly until it gets to the maximum intensity. So, all right, we'll do it all right now. So save. And then we can preview it. So, so let's check out the preview. So you can see the time is going. It's still early in the morning. 8 a.m., 9, 10, 11. Then at 12, the lights turn on. And it's on during the day. And then at 7, it turns off. So yeah, it's really cool that you can preview this. Also, one more thing to note is that the fan is super quiet. I thought it'd be noisy or really distracting, but you can barely hear a thing. And I like how it lights up in there. Pretty cool, but... Yeah, that is the Chihiros RGB Vivid 2. We're back on the ADA AquaSky G602. I really like this light, but I think I like the colors of the Chihiros Vivid RGB more. 
The thing I like most about that light is that you can have a sunrise and a sunset. I think that is such a cool feature so it doesn't just... So the lights don't just flick on and scare all your fish. It'll slowly... How do you say it? It, it works like a sunrise in real life. I don't know how to explain better than that, but yeah, it's an amazing feature and we've got it set up. So there it is now, fully set up on the 120 cm tank. And I've got to say, I really love it. It's so clean and I just can't wait to get this scaped. We've got to get it done soon, but let's take a look inside. So you can see I've put the two ballasts together. And yeah, just try to keep all the cables neat and tidy. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll definitely be talking about these lights more in the future. Like squad, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you Chihiros for sending these lights to me. I really like them and all their links will be in the description below. So definitely go check them out if you're interested in getting these. And I'll see you guys next time.